on the stream. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Tab Sleep Lover, and today we're going to be doing some super fast painting. And I'm going to try and do maybe four canvases with uh, 30 minutes each canvas, and then I'll upload the videos separately as I get them edited. But what inspired this is an article I wrote, and I have it on the website. I made it available for everybody to read, but it's super important if you're trying to develop your own style. And it goes over what Picasso did to develop his new style and which led him into Cubism. All of his research and all of his studying led to this one painting, and it's what allowed him to surpass Matisse at the time. Matisse was the top dog in the avant-garde arena, and Picasso, with this one painting, knocked him off the pedestal and allowed him to be the king of avant-garde, basically. So it's a very important painting, and the way he went about that is to just feverishly just go in and do tons of studies and all that stuff. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just having some fun with it, but I'm gonna use all of my knowledge, what I know so far with color theory and composition. I'm not gonna skimp on the composition. I'm just gonna do everything fast. So let's Let's get into it. I've got four different canvases here. And they're all prepped with that modeling paste. You can see the texture underneath and then it's got a base layer that's already dried. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. These are all 9x12 canvases. 9x12 canvas is the same size as the four-third grid and basically any phone camera you have it's going to be taking pictures with this ratio here. Pretty simple math can help you find the ratio of any rectangle. You just take this length divided by the height and you got the ratio of that rectangle and all the ratios relate to dynamic symmetry grids but if you're not into that kind of stuff you just need to try and use the grid it promotes design techniques you don't need to know anything about the math or how to construct them you just need to use them build them on your canvas and you'll be taking advantage of what techniques they promote so these are the canvases i'll be using and let's go with this one first Sometimes I'll make it so they're vertical or horizontal. Looks like it is meant to be horizontal, but I want to do a vertical one first. So let's just go with this one. All right, pretty ugly grayish colors, but as I mentioned in every single video I've done, grays really accentuate normal colors. So when you put just like a normal color on there, it's gonna really pop it out. So that's why we use grays. That's another great article on the website. How Van Gogh uses gray colors to accentuate and intensify normal colors. All right, so we've got all of our paints ready and basically everything that I use, I'll show that on the screen. I'll show all the colors that I use to mix these ones, but basically everything's got white in it and that's how I mix my colors. I'll add white to basically everything. And then I've got these grays. Those are important to you here. Grayish pink, grayish blue, grayish red, and grayish yellow. So those are the colors. Let's just get into it. So let me mentally prep myself. I'm gonna go fast and these could all be horrible. I'm gonna try and analyze each painting afterwards and see if I can pull out anything that I love, like the essence of that painting, any expressive marks that I love, and then I'll use that in the next one. You should always be trying to push yourself further and learn. And if you're taking things systematically and going slow, you should try and push yourself to go even faster. And try this especially if you've reached a plateau in your art and you're trying to reach another level. I've always said that intuition isn't really a great thing to create a painting with. And if you look at all the paintings that are created with intuition, they all kind of look the same. They're all basically looks like this painting, <laughs> which is, I don't think that's very appealing, this under layer right here. That's kind of gross. They're just kind of jumbled. There's no structure and that's why we take the composition, we use dynamic symmetry and other techniques to give it that structure. So let's get into it. I'm going to start this timer. I've got my phone here. I'm going to start the timer right now and we're off to the races. Let's see when that goes off. We'll see what we got. So I'm going to be probably not talking much. Just focus on painting.
Uh, for the construction of the composition, Okay, start laying in shapes. Got 20 minutes left to lay in shapes. Can't we do it?
Ten minutes left. Four minutes left, oh boy.
Two minutes. One minute left. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. And that's it. Time's up. One last squiggle. All right, that's it for this one. Let's see what it looks like. I'll do a close up of the brushwork and all that stuff. So right off the bat, what I'm liking, I know this ellipse is pretty obvious, but I kind of like that movement. And then this spilling out, this red spilling out is new, making note of that one. This one, the green, this is the yellowish green flower with the reddish purple. I had to add some extra red in there to make the color harmonize the way I wanted it to. But I also made that bleed out as well. It's kind of like messed up at the bottom there. It's not perfect. So I kind of like the way that's looking there. The finger marks up here I really like. Those are normal though, I usually do those. And these I would probably like, I want to scratch that a little bit to mess it up. And then what else we got going on? This area here is nice. That's the textured area, the modeling paste underneath with a light brush stroke of blue on top of that. looks pretty nice. This is kind of new, this longer pink mark there. It's interesting. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same as I usually do. Well, that's it for this one. Be sure to check out the website. And if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.